So, when I, whenever you want to drop this fuel tank, you gotta take that bolt out right there. I'll put some oil on it. There's another bolt there. And as you can see, there's some bolts missing here and here. All right, so there's a shield. There's like a heat shield that goes right here. On each side, there's a heat shield. And I'll show you what that heat shield looks like. Let me see, where is it? There's, there's the passenger side heat shield. So you just take those heat shields off. I think it's a seven millimeter. Get that heat shield out of the way. There's, you can see your fuel lines up there. So as soon as we get this thing dropped down enough to to get in here and access these fuel lines, we're going to take care of business. I think these little guys here use those uh, spring spiral spring clamps. It looks like I could take them off right here. And that's probably what I'll do. I'm not going to video that because gasoline gets everywhere. But uh, that's the fuel pump there. That's what we're changing right now. Fuel filter and fuel pump is pretty weak. But uh, I'll pop those lines off, take these straps out, drop this sucker down and get it swapped out. Let's have a look at that new fuel pump. Now, this is a Spectre Premium fuel pump from, uh, I think it's from Rock Auto. It looks pretty good. SP128B1H is the part number. And this is what this little guy looks like. Now, I've taken it out of the bag and I've slid the o-ring up to the correct position and when it comes when you get it in the back brand new it's wrapped with bubble wrap so it was it was in pretty good shape when I got it out this is your fuel level sending unit and uh, it's got the little sock on here the filter so these are what the the hoses are connecting to these type of hoses now I might need to change these uh, two little doodads I might just take them off because the the type of hoses that are on there now are the type that have the little wire wound uh, clips on there and let me show you the tool for that so you'll need a tool like this usually what I do is I shoot some WD-40 in there and blow it out with compressed air just in case there's any dirt in there um, make sure that there's no pressure in the fuel line you'll have to go up under the hood if, uh, if you're not taking a fuel filter off I go up under the hood and uh, press the Schrader valve uh, pressure release, which is behind the throttle body on the passenger side, and it's not that hard to find. It's on the fuel rail. So, but anyway, I think this is a plug-and-play deal. I don't know. I'll have to look at it to make sure that the wires correspond. Some of these cheaper uh, fuel pumps, you know, you have to mess around with the wires. So, this one doesn't look like it comes with wires. Uh, usually, if you do have to change a plug, it will come with new uh, a new plug and directions and all that so anyway I'm gonna get this thing popped in there and if I get a chance to uh, to include some more video on that I will but usually on a fuel tank I try to keep the cell phone business down to a minimum because uh, I don't want to catch on fire <laughs> all right hope this helps somebody okay so at this point here I've got the lines is connected I connected the electrical connector it looks like it. If it's not, we'll figure it out. I, I'm pretty sure that is. It looks the same. I disconnected this one strap here because it goes across this way like this. And I don't want it to interfere with what I'm doing, so I disconnected it just in case. It may not need to be disconnected. So uh, I got those lines, the fuel lines disconnected, and I pushed them up here. Let's show you what one looks like real quick. It probably has some fuel dripping out. There we go. A little bit of fuel. So that's what it looks like in there. It's got those three little clips, those three little stainless steel, or maybe there's four. Yeah, there's four of them in there. Uh, so you have to push that tool in there to depress those and to get it out of the way. So that's what it looks like. Now this other hose was like this, it's like a vent hose or something, and I think it's supposed to be connected to this, and it wasn't, so I'll have to figure out what that connection is and, and get that sorted out. 